Today, we're diving into a game-changing tool for Facebook page owners. Imagine sending a private message automatically to anyone who comments on your post, guiding them smoothly through an opt-in process and delivering a powerful lead magnet all seamlessly integrated. Well, it's not just imagination anymore. Let's get into how you can set this up to transform your engagement and convert comments into valuable leads. Stick around as we break down everything you need to know to get started with the Facebook comment automation. We are going to create a specific post comment automation for Facebook pages where the user is going to comment on an image that you see here telling us their favorite pizza and in exchange, a private message will be sent with our secret pizza dough recipe. So let's go ahead and set that up. The first thing we're gonna need is the flows in which we will respond to the user both publicly and privately. So let's go ahead and set up our public comment response first for this specific post. We're gonna click add. Continue. Because it's a public response, we do not have to mark it as anything but omni-channel. So leave this alone. And we're going to go to add content and we're going to do actions, open AI. We are going to train our AI to respond to these comments. So click open AI. I'm going to keep this at generate text and we are going to use the included GPT 3.5 turbo. And then this is where we're going to put our business information. So anything that the AI is going to need to know for our purposes today, I'm just going to include my entire database here, my entire knowledge base. And then apart from that, I'm going to write your primary job is to thank people for commenting, respond to their favorite toppings for their pizza, and let them know you have sent them the secret recipe via direct message and they should check their messages. Below is information if the user has any other questions not pertaining to your purpose that you are free to answer. Always be sure to answer in the user's language. As soon as your prompt is ready to rock, we'll continue down here. The user's message, I'm actually gonna remove this. You can put last input, but I am actually gonna do the last Facebook comment see last Facebook comment there we go so that's going to be the user's message it's going to save the user's message there and that's going to be sent to our AI AI is going to figure out what they're saying and respond based off of the prompt and then where do we save that information so we can either use an existing custom field or a cuff you might hear me call it a cuff and so I would call this an AI comment response or you can create a new one by clicking on add new and creating a new one and then saving it there. So we wanna remember where we're saving the AI's response because that's gonna be important, AI comment response. And then we're gonna remove the functions. We do not need functions in a comment reply. So continue. And then this is not going to work until we add a text box. So we're gonna click add, add the text, and we are gonna add our comment reply. It has to be the same, AI comment reply. Whatever we have our save custom field for our AI response needs to go in this text box. AI comment response. All right, and then that's it. This is pretty much done. So we're gonna click publish. So that's our public reply. Now we're going to build out our private reply. Now, because this is sent as part of a Facebook comment message, we have to change the message type to Facebook comment reply. So whenever we're sending a message after someone comments, this must be set. And in this case, the first message is always going to be an opt-in message. Typically, I like to do an image that is very similar to the image of the post, so it ties in. So for instance, this one says secret recipe pizza dough, and this is the actual image that they'll see that they're commenting on. So you'll see it's very similar. And then you can choose to do the AI here. I'm gonna keep it simple. And I'm just gonna say something simple here, and then we're gonna add a button. And this button is gonna say, I always like to do a little emoji here, right? save. All right. So this is your opt-in message. And so what we want to do here is when someone clicks on this button, then we're going to take them through the steps where we're going to gather information. There's two ways to do this. We can do this with a function at this point where we set up a function and we have the AI ask those specific questions. But for our purposes for this video, I want to keep it as simple as possible before we start stacking what we're learning. And so what I'm going to do is say get recipe. So we're going to have them click on the button. And from here, if you want to gather information, you can go to get user data, and then we're going to click on edit. And this is reply type is email. 
We're going to save it to email. This all looks good. I'm going to actually remove the skip button and save. And then once they've given me that information, I'm going to click on continue and we are going to deliver the message. So in this case, I will use AI. And by the way, you can set this up essentially any way you want. I mean, you could use AI here. You can use AI here. Uh, you can use a function, but this is just one of many ways. The thing you have to understand is you absolutely have to have an opt-in message and then you can send other information. And by opt-in message, I mean that this button has to be clicked and stay within the chat bot. So basically an opt-in would include clicking a button that stays within the chat bot and not going to an external link, clicking a quick reply or typing a message. Those are all opt-ins. So in this case, we're using a button. We are going to use a action. We're gonna do open AI. Again, we're just gonna do a simple training here. I am gonna do advanced because what I wanna be doing is tracking the user's language so that I'm always responding in that user's language. So I, that's why I do advanced, so I can track the user. So here's what our business prompt says. Your purpose is to let people know you can grab the rolling dough secret dough recipe below. Do not include any links. Just let people know that they can click below to grab the recipe. Always use the same language as the user, as the user and always use a friendly and helpful tone of voice. So we're gonna use the user's last input, and we're gonna save this as, let's go ahead and create a new one. Just create a catch-all for AI text. And continue. So now we have AI text is where we're gonna save it. You can at this point start including functions because if people start typing after this, then you can now catch those functions but you really don't have to because your default message is going to pop in and take over if someone starts communicating after this point. So I'm just gonna delete it to keep it simple. I'm gonna say, remember the conversation, yes, and continue. And then again, we're gonna add our text and the AI text, and then the button, and then this one actually can go out to an external website. So we'll put that in there and save, okay? And so this is basically the setup. We have the opt-in message, which we're using a card with a button that stays within the message. And you'll notice that it goes from the button to this message, not to continue. We cannot have it go to continue because this is the opt-in message. So it goes to the button, they confirm, and then we say, great, can we get your email? You can use AI for this. You do not have to do it this way. I'm just giving you one example. And then it's gonna go over here. Now, the other things you might consider is where does this information, the email go? Well, there's a lot of places this can go. You could send it to Zapier or Make and send it off to your CRM or ESP. You could send a email at this point as well. So if I wanted to send an email, I would need to go through the steps of setting up my email, but then I could go in here and I could say send email and we could say continue, and it also sends an email message in our system, which we recommend you use AWS. We have videos on that. There are a lot of things you can do here. So I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm just showing you these steps, but I will list a couple of links in the description below for further learning so that you can start stacking what you're learning and add to these things. So for now, this is gonna work for us. We're gonna hit publish. Let's go back and build out our comment automation. So we're gonna go to marketing with the dollar sign because that's where you're making all your money. We're gonna go to Facebook comment automation and we are gonna create a new comment automation. And this is gonna be called secret recipe, all right? And continue. So we're gonna go to specific post. You're gonna select the post in question, which is this one right here. Then we're gonna select the flow for private reply. We already built that out, secret recipe, private. Then the public reply, flow, secret recipe, public, and then all comments, more options. You can hide comments, we can always do that later. Only reply to new context, reply to only once per user. I'm gonna keep those off. I'm gonna like the user's comment. I'm gonna turn this off because I actually don't mind replying to comments. And for our testing purposes, I'm gonna reply immediately. But once I am ready for it to be live, I'll change it to random within three minutes. So we'll keep it immediately and click save. Now this comment automation needs to be turned on still. So we're gonna click on turn on and we're ready to go. This thing is live. So let's go test it out. I have to log back into my own account. I have to go find rolling dough. 
find the post and then hit enter. Remember when you're testing, you have to test as yourself, not as the page. So always be logged in as yourself. And there it is. Are you ready for the secret recipe? Yes. Let's see. Yes. Get recipe. And then the next message should be get put my email address in and I'm going to do that. And then it should bring up the recipe. There's the access and access. And then there's my recipe. So that worked. And then on top of that, if I refresh the screen, I should also have a comment response. So let's make sure that that worked. All right. Hey there. Great choice with mushrooms and onions on your pizza. We got just the right combination of flavor for you. I've sent you our secret recipe for pizza with mushroom and onions via direct message. So be sure to check your messages for a tasty surprise. So overall, I think it looks really good. There is one change you might have caught. Let's go to our flows. For our public response, we want to make sure that it's saying that the secret recipe is for our pizza dough, not for whatever their pizza preference is. So go here our, the, for them. Sent them the secret recipe for rolling doughs. Dough. It's a perfect pizza dough. Okay, continue. So now we'll publish that. I'm happy with the test. I'm going to go back to marketing. We're going to go back to Facebook comment automation. We're going to go back to secret recipe. We're going to scroll to more options and we're going to change immediately to random within three minutes and click save. And that's a wrap on transforming your Facebook interactions into powerful engagement opportunities. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this guide helpful and are ready to elevate your pages engagement and lead generation strategy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified about more insightful content like this from Chatbot Builder AI and me, Kelly Mirabella. Do you have any questions or would you like to share your success stories with automation? Drop it down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep optimizing and stay connected. Now get out there and start building.